And now, Three Minute Modernists, with your host, Chris Garcia. I tend to be a painting guy. And I'll usually go to an art museum and experience the painting, and if they have a sculpture garden, I might walk through it. Which is why Louise Nevelson's work is such an outlier for me, as far as my absolutely deep, incredible adulation for her work. Her idea was really simple, but also incredibly complex. She would gather materials, typically wood, and put them into these sort of box-like states, and typically towers. And then she would paint them all the same color, usually black, but also gold and white sometimes. And a couple she did leave unpainted, I saw. But what it is about Louise Nevelson that gets me every time, and it's just me because I've never seen anyone else take it like this, she is 100% commenting on where we are today as a society, it is the idea that we're this cast-off wood. We're all cast-offs. Every one of us is something that has been found on the street somehow and placed in these boxes, in these towers, as if that is what's holding us. That's our definition. And that by becoming these sort of tower livers, by, you know, the apartment thing, the, the whole urban life, we've all been painted as the same color. I'm not talking racially, I'm talking spiritually. The idea that you're a New Yorker before you're anything else. The idea that you're a Los Angelino before you're anything else. And I can absolutely remember the first time seeing a Louise Nevelson in person was at the National Museum of American Art that I worked at, just bawling my eyes out. It was so stunning. And at that point I had no methodology to experience it on anything other than the level of, oh my god, this is a powerful work that I don't understand. And as I dug more and more into it, I didn't find more depth, but I found myself feeling more. And I don't know how or why that works. And she's the most mysterious of all artists to me. But I absolutely, absolutely adore her work. And the one that's in the Anderson Collection at Stanford might now be my favorite. 